doing wonderful. Um, I am recording today um, another junk journal flip through of the 18 journals. Um, I kind of, at this point, I kind of lost count of which uh, video this is, but I believe this is the sixth video or, you know, the sixth part of the series. And these are journal, these are journals 10, 11, and 12 of the series. So for this for this set of journals, um, these are actually wide. Um, these are standard wide or Midori wide. I, I'm not familiar with the uh, traveler's notebook sizes. Uh, I do know that these are wider than the regular size. So I'm going to start with this one first. Let's put this three. I mean these two aside. And um, let's flip through this one first. Okay, so this one, I really like how this one came out, and I'm really proud of um, <laughs> what I thought of for the cover because I was running out of ideas of what to do, and I know that's crazy, right? Running out of ideas, it's not a good thing. This frame came in a pack with um, other kinds of different, um, you know, shapes, and mostly squares and, you know, rectangular shapes. But um, he has a few of this um, kind of like lacy, uh, pr uh, I mean print, uh, design. And um, I bought it at Hobby Lobby. And I think it's from Tim Holtz because it was on the Tim Holtz wall. So um, I think Michael might carry it as well. If, you know, you're interested, you probably can get it on Amazon, you know. So I will try to link below the uh, the actual package uh, the name of the of this item so that you guys can look it up if you wish to and then I added a cameo on the middle with a flower that has the same color as the background of the cover which is just a coincidence you know I wasn't really like I didn't buy the cameo because of the cover I just had it and it worked out well uh, for the charms I actually made all the charms in this book um, except for this one this one just comes like that it's a really cute flower and then I made this cluster of beads right here and this one too okay I know that um, we're, we have better lighting today but it's not as good as it should be though and then this one um, this one, it's a flower, this one with a little, um, we figure we did figure out the name of this bird, um, because it is actually the same bird from, if you have watched the previous videos, there was a video where, uh, it, I had a charm with this bird and I didn't know the name in English and we actually kind of figure not kind of, but we did figure out the name and now I forgot it again, so yeah, it's one of those things uh, you know I am an old lady inside of a younger woman woman's body so my mind is very old it's, I have very bad memory and you probably wonder how I make it through the day right? crazy alright, so we'll go inside the video I, um, for these journals, as these are a little wider, it's harder to have, um, you know, extra paper to make the packets and stuff. So what I did, I just got creative with the packet for the front cover, and I just really like how this one came out. So obviously it's got an opening over here, this one over, and then she can actually just go ahead and write here the you know the name of the journal whatever she wants to name it or whatever she wants to write on the beginning at the beginning of the journal this is the vellum sheet that I printed out at home with uh, um, this is a shabby chic kind of shabby chic with you know wood and roses uh, vintage looking print that I got from this paper stack from Hobby Lobby and then here's the first tag I really like how this tag came out 
I actually like I like almost all my tags. It, it's very rare for me to not like a tag after I have decorated it. But once I start, like when I start decorating the tag, I just don't, like I don't feel very strongly about it. And then once I'm done, then I'm like, oh, it came out good. Okay. This is a ticket. Um, and this is from a collection uh, from um, Artie Maze. Really like this bead right here, and I think it was a gift from a co-worker. So I don't have more of these beads, but the color, this blue color, is just so pretty. Here from a collection of from Artie Mays. Don't say I wish. Say I will. Yeah, that's true, but yeah. <laughs> this one, I think. Is this one from Artie Mays? Um, I don't think so. But the store will be linked below. And these are... These are not from Artie Mays, but these are uh, printed on vellum sheets. Or vellum paper. I should really say vellum paper. This is a bucket from Artie Mays. And this right here is the paper bag. I did stamp um, some of the pages of this book. And there's a packet here, and this stamp. It's cute. It's cutesy. Uh, okay. This is. You guys, I. You know what? I love collecting stamps, right? Like regular like post office stamps. And I have a bunch of books, you know, stamp books, like Russian collection and I have the I had the North Korean collection because you know, actually when you collect stamps, those are like the oldest kind of collections that there are. There's also like the Cuban collection and then they have um collection from United States as well, you know, and uh, the Princess Diana, and then they have the um, Walt Disney collection and stuff like that, you know, all that, all those kind of things. And um, I had a stack of this. These are the, um, these are envelopes, of course, but, oh my gosh, what's the name of these envelopes? glassine envelopes these are glassine envelopes and you cannot like put your stamps in there because the glassine envelopes protect the stamps from um, oils and anything because the stamp if you like touch the stamps with your hands and transmit your the oil of your skin and whatever they're not as valuable anymore so you kind of have to use glassine bags or envelopes you know and um, I just took the entire stack of envelopes that I had, which is a lot, and I coffee dyed it and then you know used it for my journals because <laughs> um, I'm kind of like holding my stamp collection for when I retire, which will be 20 years from now. I mean, and um, this is a postcard from uh, Tsunami Rose, and I just Put, to, put it together with a vellum sheet that I also printed, you know, at home, and then I added this bit of a paper doily scrap. Um, so yeah, I'm going to retire in 20 years from now, so I still gotta go to work. Every day, yeah, you know, we don't want to do that, but we have to, because we have to pay the bills, right? Um, this is another lovely altar stamp um, tag, and it does, I think it, this is a bucket, it's a talking spot. And this is the center of the, uh, the book. This, I believe these are from Artie Mays, and this is an envelope. And right here from Artie Mays as well. Um, this came from a pack, 
um, a package. Now what I mean. This came from a pack of ephemera from Tim Holtz. And this one's Artemis. Is it like that? No, it's like this. Okay. And another altar tag, and I really like this one. You know, and these are um, dried uh, flowers, or I don't know what these are called, but it's like for you to. Um, it's for you to uh, use together with flowers, and it's like it makes for, it fills up whatever you're trying to do with the flowers, like it would make volume, it would give it volume or, you know. And this is one of those, I don't know what are these called, uh, this type of um, uh, envelopes, but these are cute, you know. This is printed on a, uh, Card on paper. All right. Uh, yeah, that that flips out. <laughs> Do I even have to say that? I don't know. It gets tiresome. And there's a talking spot right here, and of course this opens here, and another Artie Mays journaling card, and another altar tag. This one's small. These tags are. This tag is from um, Hobby Lobby. I just went and bought. I waited for the date when they have like the 15% off and I went in and I bought a bunch of them. Um, this one's from Artie Mays. Have you guys uh, checked out Artie Mays on Etsy because she has amazing stuff. Amazing. This is from a book of flowers and I've been adding this uh, pages of the book to these journals. This is from Artie Mays as well, and it's just a journal, journaling page, and, you know, I just added it here to give this page more color, like, this, this spread more, more color, and she can obviously use it to journal. And then this tag here. And uh, these bigger tags are, no, these are from Hobby Lobby as well. I'm running out of the tags that I bought from um, a tattered dream, so I have to make another purchase very soon. And this is the end of the journal. And right here, she has a pocket. And that's it. This is the end of this journal. All right, so we're going to look at this one now. And... Um, this journal is, um, okay, so this journal, it's just, uh, you know, the cover of this journal, it's just like a very simple design, and it's basically the same stuff that, more, you know, it's basically the same thing that I often do, where I just add uh, lace to the spine, and I add another trim on top of that lace to do some, you know, something different. And um, in the back, the lace goes all the way to the back as well. It's very pretty lace. Um, so, I'll go inside. Oh, yeah, I didn't describe the charms, but I don't know. It gets old. Okay, this one is, I didn't make this charm. This comes like this, boho charm. And then I really like this. This is, um, it reminds me of Cinderella. Right, and um, let me see this one over here. I put it together. It's really cute. And then this one, I I did make this charm, and I'm planning to put more of these bottles in my Etsy shop so you guys can purchase them. And um, this one's cute. This one. This one's really cute. Okay, there's any in there? No. Okay, and then on the bottom, we got a tree. I'm trying to see if he... Oh, it's kind of blurry. Okay. A tree there. 
and um, this one, put it together, and then this one, it's kitty. All right, so let's go and tie for this one. I kind of did the same thing as with the other one, but now this one is actually like a slip in, right? Is that what you call it? Like it's not a pocket because you know it's not closed up on the bottom but and then here this is also open so it's like a frame and she can just put a picture in there if she wants to whatever she wants to do um, the usual um, this is a vellum sheet which I printed out um, and I try to use colors that match this journal red and blue um, and this tag from a pack of tags from Hobby Lobby for this journal, I used uh, lots of white uh, lace and trims because it matches with the blue and the red color. So that's basically the theme of this journal, the color theme. Um, there's a stamp here. Um, this is, I, I don't know if these are from a tattered dream, but this is a ledger paper that I bought from Etsy. I think they are from a tattered dream. Uh, this is a talking spot right here. Um, I really love this this lace, and I think I don't have any more of this. And I don't. I think I got this from uh, my uh, Hobby Lobby, but I didn't see them there when I went last time. So this is uh, just a clutch for this tag. There's a tap over here, and this is the uh, paper bag opens here you know really cutesy journaling card okay this flips out I did stamp it or pun hole punch it um, with this uh, daisy design which I think is just cute what's going on here oh oh I know what's going on this tag has a lace string, that's why. I thought it was another page. Sometimes I just want to do something very simple. So I stamped the, the tag and I added a lace string on the side. And that was it. This flips out and there's a really cute... Um, this is a um, acetate sticker, which I got this from Amazon. Um, here... I added the, this is from a book, an art book, no, an art magazine, not an art book, an art magazine, and I just cut it up, and I thought it was so cute, and I had it, you know, in my stash, so I thought it would match this journal, so I just glued it here, and I think, is this a talking spot? No, it's just glued in there. So I glued it there, and I, in the back, I did a mini collage, okay, and I did add a half of a uh, paper doily that has been coffee dyed and it's a pocket. A journaling card right here from Artie Mays. These are so adorable. I just, I, this is, these are one of my favorite, uh, this is from a collection, you know, of different kinds of flowers and it's one of my favorite journaling cards. Uh, this one also very simple just you know hole punched it in the bottom with the I think this is the lace lace train that's what it's called and um, you know just the, um, the lace on the top and then here more of those glassine envelopes it opens this one it's kind of stuck together because of the uh, when you coffee dye it, it kind of just sticks together. So, but you can still put something inside of it. And then there's this cute uh, seed pocket that I also got from Amazon. Here, beautiful, beautiful lace string. If I see it again, I'm gonna grab tons of it. Just really cute. Um, this is from Artie Mays. I'm telling you, Artie Mays and 
um, her, her name is, okay, Artie Mays is one of the shops that I buy from the most. I often buy from Tsunami Rose, but I really like Artie Mays. She has a ton, tons of stuff that I, you know, that I just really like to work with. And another, sh another shop, which I don't, from the top of my head, I don't know the name of the shop, but I know the owner, I know her name, I don't know her personally, but I know her name is Zoe, and she does have a YouTube channel, so I'm going to link her YouTube channel on the description box, so you guys can check her out, oh my god, she's so talented, I love her stuff, I love it, her stuff is my favorite, I love what she has, I just love it, and her journals are really pretty, she also makes journals, so here, this is the center page, I really like this one. It's really cute. Another envelope from Artie Mays. Uh, another one of this. Um, I don't know what these are called, but I have described them before in my other my previous videos, and I believe these are real flowers that have been pressed down together. So. This is an envelope that opens up like that, and then here is, it's for a talking spot. So, there you go. I love this tag. It, it is a talking spot right here, and it does have like a label, label that I, this is a label that I made for it uh, with, um, I have a book that's called The Blue Flower, and the fly leaf has the title and I just cut it up and put it here and put a blue flower so I just thought it was so cute I hope she likes these books um, this is an accordion flips out and this is a lace dipping and then another journaling card okay another journaling card this one's double sided and this one reads today's beautiful moments are tomorrow's beautiful memories so true uh, another talking spot flips out this is another envelope from Artie Mays okay now this is the other side of the paper pouch and another tag another altar tag very simple and I added um, this is the, the it's like the ticket or the tag the tag of a tea bag and it says you don't need love you are the love and uh, we've reached the end of the book see some collage there and it does have a pocket at the end so this is the end for this one now this is the last one in this uh, set this book is just gorgeous I I mean, I made it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that, but I don't know. It's just like, and it's something that I've never done before. Where I added this lace. I have added this lace before in two other books that I made, but um, I added it this way, right? So that the hangings will be like this, right? But this time around, I thought that I would do it this way, right? So in the back. It's just the top trim, and I cut off the this. I cut off this part, and I cut off the little flowers, the different little flowers, and I glue them all around. And I just thought that, that was different, and it gives the book just it makes it very unique compared to the other ones. And that is the point of all these journals. Is, was for me to, even though they're going to the same customer and she's going to do the same with all of them, 
and they're all the same theme, like spring, you know, spring and, you know, nature. Um, I thought that they each had to look unique in a way. And I think I have, I have achieved that with at least 80% of the journals, um, if not with all of them. But yeah, so on the inside, it does have a pocket and this is a journaling card that I added here. So I pick one. I love this paper doily. It's beautiful. And of course, it's a longer one. So I had to cut it down, but I think it still looks nice. And this is a vellum sheet that I printed at home as well. So I'm going to list uh, these prints on my Etsy shop on vellum paper. So if you guys are want to purchase some of them, you're welcome to go check out my shop. Uh, they won't be, they probably won't be listed anytime. Um, they probably won't be listed right now if you go check them out right now. Well, I don't know when are you watching this video, but ah, just go, just go by the shop and you know, hopefully you'll see them there. Um, this is a talking spot right here. And I did add a lot of um, yellow accents to this book. I added a glassine bag to this book as well. Because I just like the, the sound of it. Sounds neat. Um, this, this, I think these are... Maybe these are not real leaves, but um, these are the same kind of thing where they're pressed together. Okay, here is another journaling card. This flips out. And we have another another tag, that, uh, which I just did very simple stuff. Just stamped it and did a trim of lace on the side. I love how this coffee dye paper came out um, because I also do tea dye with the coffee dye like I just do everything together and um, what I do to get that effect which I love is I just pour a lot of the tea leaves that are inside the tea bag I just pour them on top of the paper once it's wet and I put it in the oven you guys I do put my paper in the oven and in about like 10 minutes it's cooked <laughs> or baked um, so, uh, here's a packet with a paper doily. Uh, my husband calls it uh, baking paper. So, here's one of those envelopes. And uh, seed, the seed packet that I got from Amazon. This tag in the back. And this one also has a tea bag. Um, can't even see it through the camera so I don't know if you guys can read it but it says an attitude of gratitude brings opportunities it's just so cute it's a talking part no this is a belly band right here and this obviously opens here a journaling card from Artie Mays oh I just realized I did not show you guys the charms up close which I will in a minute. Oh my gosh, I can't take this one out of here. I don't want to disturb it. So, <laughs> this is just a tag, which what I did was I just added a cluster of dry rose petals. These are yellow roses. And I just added, a, you know, I just took out like three petals of the rose and I just glued them one on top of the other one. And then I glued... Um, on top of it, I glue um, trims. My guy, my son, it's just having one of those days. Um, here you can tuck something in. He probably did something he shouldn't have done. That's why he's crying, being scolded. Um, this is a another tag from Artie Mays. And these postcards. I truly have no idea where they're from. I think they're from Artie Mays as well. Are they? Yes, I think so. She has like a dragonfly um, journaling kit. All right, so this is a handmade paper and I did add it in this book. Like instead of like in pieces, I added an entire 
you know, sheet of the handmade paper. And I just added here some of those really cute envelopes with uh, journaling cards. Or yeah, these are not journaling cards because she can't really write on them. Well, I guess she could in the back. You could also write on vellum paper, but just gotta wait for the ink to dry before you, you know, before you put it away. Again, don't want to disturb this. <laughs> I'm like in a bad position where I can't really reach that well to take things out. Um, so, but this is half of a doily that I just um, put together here with this tab. I mean, with this tag, and I just uh, hole punched the tag on the side with the de uh, lace uh, design. Hole punched lace, which is the one that I use the most. It's my favorite one. Um, this one has cute, um, a cute uh, center spread with uh, fish. And I just added parts of this. This was a doily. And I think it's crochet doily. And I just took it apart and I just added it everywhere in the book. This is one of those envelopes that are vellum. And it's a talking spot right there. And then you can, you can use this side of the envelope to put things in there. Oh, this one came out easy. I love this one. And uh, the writing is not illegible. Not even if you put it up close. But there's a pocket uh, talking spot right here. Really cute journaling card. Okay, another one that it's hard to take out. But this is a talking spot and I put in there a die cut from Tim Holtz, which are just flowers. This one you can obviously put things in here as a talking spot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then here, you know, this is the other side of a paper pouch. This is a Prima journaling card. And this one is one of those tags from Artie Mays that are from the Dragonfly collection. They're just so pretty. Another Prima journaling card, which I hole punched with the lace design. I will show you the charms in a minute. This is a cute journaling card that I recently acquired from Etsy. Um, I added the other half of the doily to this page. Um, here is another tag that has, it's very simple and another tag over here why is it so hard to take out my goodness okay so cute so yeah this book has pink and yellow accents and over here this is a page flag from the Anari Mays collection and reach the end of the journal and it does have a pocket on the back. All right, for the charms, I did this big one. I just put a cluster of little flowers together with a bead at the end. Um, here is the bottle that I used for this one with the flowers. They're pink and uh, white. This is a hand fan hand fan this is a hand fan it's really cute uh, this one in orangey it's just a bit and this one uh, these are daisies this one over here wait a minute what's going on a minute sorry showing you my arm my hairy arm. <laughs> um, this is a cluster of beads, and it's really like this crochet uh, pieces of the crochet doily, and I just attached it to the paper clip and the orange flower. 
and close to our bits. So yeah, these are the three books for this um, set of, of books. And um, next video I will be showing you guys another set and um, I hope I'll see you guys there. Please be sure to check out my description box because I have there links to previous videos of this collection of 18 journals and I also have all the links of the shops. So yeah, check out my description box and um, hit like to this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and I hope I'll see you guys here the next time. Bye!